but the debate that has been going on with the bill itself. You know, I've been serving here almost 20 years. And when I came here, I was young. I was a 28 year old young woman, 20, <laughs> 28, year, 28 year old young woman. And as a 28 year old, a young person dealing in this body, I've had to deal with levels of microaggression where people think that they know more than I know because I was young. And as a woman, I've had to deal with the same type of microaggressions that people thought they know more than I know because I'm a woman. And as a black woman, I've also had to deal with those same levels of microaggression from people who think they know more than I know because they're white and I'm black. But I never would have thought that I would have to deal with the level of disrespect that happened here from somebody who still has milk on their breath, as my mother used to say, when it comes to just coming to this body. Somebody who just walked through the door, doesn't know the rules yet. I had to ask somebody the person's first name because I didn't even know her first name. But I will not be disrespected in this body. That won't happen while I'm standing here. And to have somebody to come behind me and mock me when all I ever try to do in this legislative body is to bring informative issues, even when we're filibustering. I don't come up here with mess or crap or any of that. I come up here and I try to speak with intelligence. And one thing that I'm always aware of is that I am a mother of two young adults. They were four and two years old when I came here. And I've always wanted to make them proud when I came to stand in this well. And for somebody to mock me in this body, when we're supposed to be colleagues, that is unbecoming of a legislator. And we need to make sure that our rules reflect that. The same woman who took had the amendment to take all of the issues out that deal with women in the medical marijuana bill. Somebody with milk on her breath. She just walked through the doggone door. You will never disrespect me in this body. I will not stand for it. And I'm going to tell you this. You don't want this smoke. You do not want the smoke. I will not take it. We as a body shouldn't take it. And just because you're a white woman doesn't mean you know more than I do as a black woman. You just walked through the door. I will not take it. I will not stand for it, and the rest of us won't stand for it. And I hope that my other colleagues that don't look like me wouldn't stand for it. And you can laugh. I see you laughing. I see you laughing. But when you bring a bill down here, I want you to laugh then. I see you laughing. But again, that's levels of microaggression where that person is trying to devalue my opinion, how I feel right now. Matter of fact, that's not even microaggression. That's outright aggression. That's outright aggression. And for you to sit there and laugh just shows the type of woman that you are. For all of these organizations that are trying to encourage women to run for office and support women to run for office, we are not created equally. So you need to make sure you do your due diligence before you send that type of person back down here at this body. I won't take it. I won't stand for it. I've never been disrespected in that manner in this body. And I know one thing, it better not ever happen again. All right, and the chair thanks the lady. All right, let's move along, members. The uh, chair recognizes the uh, gentleman from Mobile, Representative Jones.